Hey there folks, Rel here. I'm the sole author of Distal, a new high fantasy D20 system designed to honor the struggles that your characters face over a life of adventure. You can pick up the beta version right now, totally free. Those links are all in the video description below. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Fury lineage in Distal. The Fury are a fragile, somewhat flighty lineage. They're flecked with beautiful feathers of many colors with sharp facial features to match the equally sharp talons. The Fury operate under a veil of sophistication where possible, very demure, very raptorial, but beneath that mask, they are naturally paranoid, skittish, and rarely hold offices of power for very long. And the reason is they're descendant from harpies, the same ones that would lure villagers to an untimely death through beautiful song. Harpies themselves were hunted to extinction quite some time ago. And while the Fury are inherently different, only modern, well-educated settlements and cities actually acknowledge that difference. So generations of hunting and persecution have left them with a lot of baggage to deal with, not just culturally, but genetically too. Fury are the only lineage in the game with a specific language that is actually called out in the lore. Fury have a written language called Candor Scratch, where the, they literally claw marks into surfaces, and to most people that looks like wear and tear. But to a sharp-eyed Fury, it conveys warnings about people, places, and lets you know which alleys not to turn down. If you're playing a Fury, you have a D6 health die and a negative to fortitude. You are, by nature, frail, hollow bones and all. However, you also get a plus one to any attribute you want, which conveys some of that forced development while you've grown under the Fury's harsh circumstances. Your first ability is fight or flight, which lets you take two reactions instead of one. It's very powerful and very useful and also fatigues you when using both. You also have a natural weapon called Gouging Talons that strikes for D4 damage and it can blind a target when fueled by willpower. Each lineage chooses one of three bloodline abilities during character creation. The first of which is Siren Song. This harkens back to the, the harpies of old, but is actually shared between the Atlian lineage as well, kind of siren-like, which we'll talk about at some point. But basically, you start singing, you can lure a target to you, and they're incapable of attacking you until they break the compulsion. The next bloodline is Broadwing. While most Fury can't fly like their ancestors could, some still can, and they are referred to as Broadwing. As a reaction at the start of your turn, you can move without provoking instead of needing to disengage, and you can glide passively so long as you aren't caring too much. The last bloodline ability is Regal Plumage, which allows you to pass for a member of high society. You're naturally a being of intrigue thanks to your past and your dazzling visage, and when conversing with aristocrats or members of similar social status, you can add your wisdom or intelligence to any of those checks as long as they make use of politics or commerce. This ability will actually get some minor adjustments in the next update to bring in some combat focused elements, but everything here is always subject to change because it's a beta after all. Since Fury get that extra reaction and generally have low health, they excel at classes that can control distance in combat, like the Jester, which I recently did a whole breakdown video for. And if this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, Please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about Distal. And if you dig the Fury or are interested in hearing more about various aspects of the game, feel free to leave those thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.